Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. I'm back here at Furman BMW and we have another car that you guys have asked for. This is a 2020 BMW M240i. So let's talk a little bit about BMW and BMW history. BMW has been in business since the early 1900s. During World War I, they built airplanes, airplane engines. After World War I, which that war ended in 1918, they switched to motorcycles and then eventually cars. One thing that BMW has done over recent years is they've taken their M logo and they put it on some cars that are not true M performance cars. Some people say that's a smart move because it's, you're able to kind of spread some of the performance around. Other people are saying you're taking that wonderful M logo, so much heritage, so much racing, behind it, the history, the wins, the championships, and you're kind of watering it down. That's why I think this is a great car to do so that you could be the judge of, is this M240i close to being an M2 in a convertible form? So let's go ahead and dive into this 2020 M240i. So right off the bat, you'll see the connection to the styling, whether you're looking at an M240 or you're looking at maybe the bigger brother, the th 3 Series or 4 Series. I love the headlight housings on these. You have that iconic halo daytime running lamp that is so synonymous with BMW. As you work your way down, I like what BMW does with their front end. Now, I am going to zonk this because if you notice, this is totally blocked off. I wish they could have opened this up, made it functional. The air curtain on the side is functional, so air is gonna go down the side of the car, but this right here is totally blocked off, so that's a zonk, especially if you are gonna use that M logo, even though this is not a true M car. Now, when it comes to BMW, the number two, this being a 240, that's their smallest car on the lot here, or that BMW produces. Three, it's a little bit bigger, four, so a five, you get it higher the number, the larger the car, basically. As we come across the front, I do like the kidney-shaped grill. I like this brushed aluminum look that they got going on, and I like the way that the vertical slots are, are blacked out. As we work our way down, fully functional opening, lower area of the grill, honeycomb shape. Also, really, one thing I love about BMWs is I love how they don't have a bunch of like lower lip spoilers that have been tacked on. Everything is integrated perfectly into the front fascia. Speaking of front fascia, you're gonna see that BMW logo, Bavarian Motor Works with the blue and white of the Bavarian flag. Great heritage, it means so much those letters and there's so much behind it. But very, very clean and purposeful looking front end of the vehicle. Now the hood is very simple. There's some very slight body lines, nothing too aggressive. That's something where if you go true M car route, you're gonna see a lot more aggressive lines in things like the hood and the fenders. Now, as we come around the fender here, you'll see first of all that the headlight housings, BMW LED headlights, I guess they put that there just to remind you as you're walking up to your car, hey man, you got LEDs, you can see clearly at night. So, little touch. These wheels are an optional wheel with the M240i, so this is an 18 inch wheel. It's a little on the smaller side compared to other wheels that you would see on a BMW, but you have the nice brushed aluminum. There's that M logo. M stands for Motorsport. This is an M240, not an M2. Nice size calipers, uh, both you know four piston, and then the rotor is just your straight up ventilated rotor, not cross drilled or anything like that, but it's definitely gonna give you some stopping performance. Even with the tires, the tires do have some performance intentions. These are Michelin Pilot Super Sports, so they're not as sticky as the Cup 2s, but these are actually still pretty good for track days, autocross, and they're gonna give you some great durability. One thing that I do like is the nice clean lines, especially with the top down. As we come into the side mirror, you got blacked out mirrors with your very slim and trim LED turn singles built in. I do like the way that they have some gloss black trim around the doors and on the A pillar here. As we work our way back, nice integrated plastic tonneau cover. I would like to see it actually match the color of the car and this color is just really eye popping. I think that would have just gave it a little bit more sportier look but very distinctive, like I told you, body lines on a true M2. 
the fenders are just flared out even more. And that's one car that I really love. This has got to go. 21st century, this is a 2020 model. We need to get rid of that antenna. That's a major zonk. You do have the shark fin for your navigation and whatnot. This all needs to be integrated here. And then at the tail end of the business, very, very simple. Now, one thing I wish they would have done was put some type of trunk lid spoiler, especially if you're gonna put the M logo on here, but you have your M240i badge. There's our motorsport colors. And as we come back around, one thing I wanna point out is this has the M optional exhaust. So the motorsport exhaust, I like the dual exhaust. You can even see it's engraved with the M logo on the top of that exhaust pipe on both of them. Very simple diffuser but very clean from the back. Why don't we go ahead, pop the hood, and see what's powering this M240i. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on the 2020 M240i. Right off the bat, I like the way they use hood struts. One thing I don't like, and I am gonna zonk, is that massive plastic cover. So it's cool that it does say M Performance, and it's got the BMW M logo on it, but what you're looking at underneath all of that plastic is gonna be a three liter inline six turbocharged engine 335 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 4.3 seconds, and a top speed of around 155 miles an hour. So you are definitely gonna get some performance from this M240i. One of those things, if you wanna though do the two series right, you gotta get yourself an M2, but they don't make it in a convertible. Let's go ahead though, fire up this M240i, and see what it sounds like. Alright guys, we're inside the 2020 M240i. I know some of you are probably asking, well Joe, I'm really liking this car. I want to have some top-down fun, but also have some performance. How much does this cost? You're looking at the way that this one is optioned, MSRP, $58,000. Let's see what you get to the door panels. Now, the door panel has a lot of black material on it, but the good news is that they did use some white contrast stitching to break that up. There's some carbon fiber design on the uh, pull to open and close the door and a little bit of silver on the door handle to actually open the door So they did try I just would like to see a little bit more color on the door panel Now when you come to dash just like on the door soft material everywhere This one has the six point uh, six uh, inch infotainment system What's nice is you use BMW's iDrive and it's very easy to navigate through Simple but functional AC vents. This is where you have your door lock and unlock button. Just something to remember when you get into your BMW and you're trying to unlock the door for somebody. I like the slim and trim radio controls, dual AC climate controls, very tr slim and trim, easy to understand, easy to use. As we work our way down, you have a nice sliding lid. You know me, I like to see a nice complete looking place. You do have a little spot for your phone, open it up, two cup holders and a 12 volt. I hate these though, zonk these stupid plugs. I wish they would just have a cap in there uh, that would just flip up, make life a lot easier. This is gonna be shifting that automatic transmission, that eight speed automatic transmission. Here's how you're gonna go into different modes. And if you notice, wow, look, there's our M240i. I wish it was the same color, but you could actually go through your different modes. You have comfort, eco, and then you could go into sport and that's gonna adjust how the car behaves. Transmission shifts, the feedback from the front end, all that kind of stuff. Some more of that carbon fiber design. Here is your BMW i control. So we're gonna go back to the infotainment and you can see just how simple it is to navigate through everything. Great font, very quick reacting. You could go into navigation. I'll go into uh, maps. Boom, look how nice and easy that is to use. We could zoom out, we could keep zooming out. Where are we located? Where are we uh, in the world? Look at this, there's planet Earth. So Rady's Rides, we're located right there, uh, which is very nice. Leather on the armrest, nice material. It slides for you, which is great. You open it up, you got a nice cubby for your phone, a USB, good old fashioned e-brake with leather on the wrap, which is great. Leather boot, one thing I'm gonna zonk though is I, if you're gonna put white contrast stitching, 
put it on the shift lever as well. This is a $58,000 car, so that is something I'm gonna zonk. This is the button to make the top go up and down. And then the seats, they're very simplistic looking, but you know what? They do the business. There's just enough bolstering to make it sporty, but they're also comfy to where you could drive this every single day without a problem. But why don't you come on over to the business end and I'll show you behind the wheel of this M240i. All right guys, business end behind the wheel of the M240. Just to show you, you do have obviously fully electric power seat with two memory settings. I do also like down here, obviously you peel the blue tape away, but there's your M240i badge, very nicely done. Steering wheel. I'm telling you right now, BMW makes some of the best steering wheels. Love the thickness, love the leather material, the shape. You got an M logo there, a little bit of nice brushed aluminum trim. Very easy to understand and use buttons that aren't gonna get in the way. Large paddles, very nice size paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight speed automatic transmission. And then gauges, so perfectly placed, so perfectly set up. I love how clear everything is there and it's gonna give you a great place to just glance down so that you can see what's going on the business end with the instrumentation and not be so focused on it. One thing that I think I love most about this car is the color. It's an optional color. It's that long beach blue metallic, really works great, great on this car. Before we get to the trunk, I wanna show you the car with the hood popped up. So I'm gonna close my door over here and we're gonna, well not the hood, but the roof. We're gonna bring up the roof real quick here. So you're gonna pull back on this little lever and then up she goes. A little on the slower side, but one of those things, some cars are fast, some cars are slow when it comes to these tops, but you just gotta be patient. So I am gonna zonk how long that took to do, but if you're ready, I'm ready, Let's go ahead and check out the trunk of this M240i. All right, guys, let's see what kind of stuff we could put in the trunk of the M240i. It's actually quite surprising. You could see the amount of room in there where you could take this car on a longer drive, have two pieces of luggage in there or a little bit more, and enjoy those fun, twisty roads and getting to the destination. Because remember, at the end of the day, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey to that destination. So let's go ahead. If you're ready though, I'm ready. Let's take this BMW M240i for a little journey. All right guys, we're leaving Furman BMW. We're in the BMW M240i. We do have the top up to just kind of keep the sound quality a little bit better for you. But let's go ahead as people just roll on out and not stop at stop signs. Let's go ahead and uh, show you some of the performance of the M240i. It is a little busy right now on this main road, but I'll go ahead and get on the loud pedal. You're not waiting a long time for that boost to kick up, and you're getting a great sound from that M performance exhaust. Sounds really, really good. I'm gonna put it in manual mode and shift myself. In the lower right-hand corner, right underneath the tag, it tells you what gear you're in. I'm in second gear as we come up to this stop over here. Pull away, here we go, we're off. I have it in sport mode with the traction control on. Very, very fast shifts from the transmission. That is for sure. And you know, quite surprisingly, this car is fast. Zero to 60, like I said, 4.3 seconds, but the way that the boost builds, there's really no lag to it, which is awesome. And it's very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. But boy, once you start going through those gears, you're gonna get up to that 155 top speed real quick, I promise you that. Right, guys, let's go ahead in this right-hand bend, rear, rear wheel drive obviously on throttle. Really nice with the shifts. You get a nice jolt as you hit that shifter. But boy, I'm telling you, it does get up to speed and it's it's, deceivingly fast you know even with the top up and you would think a convertible you're gonna get a crazy amount of like wind noise and whatnot you're actually not getting that in this car this car is very tight very quiet for a convertible especially for a convertible um, it's very smooth and what that does is it kind of makes the experience 
not feel as aggressive and kind of you almost feel like you're not going that fast but when you look down at the speedometer you're like oh i am i better back out of it but uh good feedback from the wheel i would like a little bit more weight i know bmw has been working on trying to get the driver engagement a little bit better when it comes to the business end so i would like just a little bit more weight to the steering wheel um other than that though the car is nicely balanced rear wheel drive really nice setup uh, we're gonna see if we can find a little area to kind of really test out the chassis dynamics and see how the car transfers its weight around all right guys let me show you over some choppy road section here how the m240i does the business you know what it soaks up the, the bumps pretty well it you are gonna have a little bit more sportier um, suspension setting on this car um, just because of its intentions and remember it's not a true M car if you drive an M2 an M2 you're gonna feel even more connected to the car but the seats are great very comfortable it's easy to get to everything and even though that screen it's 6.6 .6 inches it still has a great view and it's easy to see which is really really nice and I like the way that it's placed on the dash uh, which really makes sense. All right, guys, let me take you down a little twisty section here. I'm telling you, this car is surprisingly quick. On the brakes, feels good. Tipping in his right-hand bend, on throttle, rolling out, traction control does its thing. I like the way that it's carrying its weight. It does position the weight really well as you go from left to right. Let me try this little transition here. A little floaty. It felt a little floaty through that section. It was a little chopped up, but I didn't feel super connected to the front wheels. And what that does is it doesn't make you feel confident. If you don't feel confident, you're not gonna be able to push the car to a higher limit. So I would like to see, like I said, number one, more feedback. Number two, a little bit more weight to the steering, just to help with placing the car perfectly as you're going down the road or track or an autocross event but the car is super smooth i mean and this gearbox is really really nice but just the front end i don't feel super confident in it in an m2 trust me <laughs> that would be a totally different story so i do understand that this is not a full m car but i think just being a bmw it needs a little bit more front end feel power getting to the back overall it felt balanced so that's a really great feeling to know that you're in a nice balanced chassis uh i just i just need a little bit more feel great sound though coming from the back of the car i really really think that with that m exhaust on there it sounds really really good um and i just obviously fit and finish in here and the steering wheel i could hold on to the steering wheel for the rest of my life that's how nice it feels in my hands and i feel it's like almost like a race steering wheel seats good like i said good bolstering still comfy still supportive so they definitely hit the nail on the head with that but we're gonna go ahead hopefully this gave you a little bit of everything we're gonna go ahead wrap this one up and i'll see you back at Furman bmw all right, guys, been another amazing day here at Furman BMW. Definitely got to thank Alan and everybody here at the dealership. So accommodating. If these are the types of things that you like to see on Ready's Rides, these fun little convertibles that really get up and go, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rides family. If you want to help us on Ready's Rides, keep making this great content just for you. Click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Every little bit helps. Speaking of help, can't do this without Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. He's back from the Middle East. He went on a little journey, went over to Asia for a while, and now he's back again. Stronger, wiser, and even more brave than before. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.